In today's video, we are checking out the RPK inside of tier 3, trying to see how good this bad boy is. I got it recently recommended, so if you have any weapons that you would like for me to go inside of tier 3 with, just to check it out if it's good to run around, survive, complete bounties, contracts, so on and so forth, then definitely be sure to comment down below and also if you have any specific attachments. Speaking of attachments, here is the build that I am using. I tried to prioritize some of the range and damage on this thing and trying to not affect the recoil control or handling as much as possible i will also have these down in the description if you just want to look at them at different points of the video but without further ado let's hop right into tier 3 with this bad boy fully leveled up fully packet punched and try to see how easy our experience is as always if you do enjoy this video or would like to see more of these videos or just overall be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help out the video spread in the channel i really would appreciate it and also a subscriber would be very much appreciated we're under a goal to hitting 50,000 subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every single day but without further ado let's hop right into the game oh we have our first target mega abomination so here we go uh i don't know i've seen better how does it do and oh hello doggies well of course they're gonna be easy to kill uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. stop mega stop god what a lame attack oh i guess i've used this before uh here it is on normal zombies doesn't feel incredibly powerful it's okay um oh my god there's a lot of zombies actually whoa relax relax we don't have spicola which is going to be an issue because this bad boy is going to take forever to reload especially with the magazine that we have uh oh my goodness hello chillax mega please for me oh we're doing the same attack aren't we now i do have brain rot because brain rot just makes your life so much easier and obviously elemental pop so we will have some like helpful little things with these uh, like special bosses okay we're not doing too bad now oh of course disciple disciple cameo the disciples always kind of just have to show up it's in their blood at this stage every single time that i play anytime that i'm doing a mega Oh, hello, Mega Abomination. A disciple just loves to spawn in. But we're not doing too shabby. Oh, we might go down because obviously zombies just love throwing their meat when you're in water. And the weapon itself? I don't know. Uh, I've seen guns do better. Somehow submachine guns always do really good with the Mega Abomination. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. When its mouth is open, you do deal a ridiculous amount of damage. So that's what we're on the lookout for. Open up your mouth, buddy. Nope, we do not want that. It's funny how in the most recent video, we were exactly in this similar situation with a mega. Oh, we're doing another laser attack. Might as well. Oh, okay. Whoa, you can deal a lot of damage when it's doing its laser attack. You know, this does feel pretty good, but since it is an LMG, you do need... Do we need that? I guess we do. You do need speed cola and stamina up to be able to run around fast, reload fast, but... You know, that, that that actually did go pretty quick. Compared to most weapons, it wasn't too bad. But we need to actually completely test it out. So let's go complete a bounty. I do have the cargo mission at my disposal. But I want to test out as many bosses as possible just to see. Because obviously you can complete the easiest contracts. But what if you can complete the slightly more difficult ones with a very powerful weapon. Which we know there are powerful weapons. But we're just on that hunt for that slightly more powerful okay give us not a mega i mean i'll take a mega actually a disciple fascinating we already took one down but it wasn't like more powerful ones we can also pick up speed cola which is really cool there we go we'll finally be able to reload faster okay so let's see body damage wise yeah eats up those bullets headshot wise kind of still eats those bullets but not too shabby it's not too shabby at all. Wow, we're really just unlocking these camos for the gun. Will we unlock gold inside of tier 3? Probably. Oh my god, that mega is following me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not gonna kill me with those lasers. I don't need to fight a mega. Why? Like, why? Why do they follow you? They, they latch on, and then they just go, like, above and beyond just to get you. But the disciple is right here. Hopefully, it's not an annoying disciple. Ooh. Uh oh Oh my god. Okay. I like that. I like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're dealing some solid damage. Oh my god. Almost halfway through the health. If it stops flying around the place. They always do that. It's so frustrating. Mega Abomination. You are... Whoa. Whoa. What? Um, did we just get blasted by a Mega Abomination into the building? That sounded weird. You know what I meant. 
Uh oh. Oh, we might go down. We might go down. We might go down. This might be it. This might be it. This is not it. We're not going down. Uh, not going down without a fight. Okay, disciple. Sir, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. See, that all went downhill after we got bonked inside of here. I kind of want to pick that up. Um, so we're gonna... Okay. We're gonna do this. <gasps> Spooky. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Uh, no, 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 no. Stop. Uh, I'm gonna keep running. Oh, thank you for following me here. Come on. Stop healing. Okay, that mega has seriously messed everything up. Okay, please, give me a breather. Mega abomination, seriously, piss off. Disciple, you need to die. Stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. Ah, uh, okay, this was going not too bad until we got thrown into that building. Oh my god, how much health did that freaking disciple leech off of me? Dude, just die. There we go. No, stop, 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 stop. Oh, we got the bounty. Oh my god. That was a close call. Whew. Okay. Somehow, now we have to go pick up our contract. This is a great start to the video. Okay. Did that mega abomination die? I hope it did. Self-res. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. So, if, if we don't run into a scenario where we have a mega abomination while we're trying to complete a contract, it won't be too difficult. But you know what? This weapon kind of got us through that. That building scenario probably could have gotten out of it a different way. That's probably on me for going down. Anyway, let's go test out another one. Maybe this time around we won't get a disciple, please. Oh my god, another one? We just got three. Okay, I thought that was another, another one. So we just got three camels completed. That's crazy. How cl how many times? I, I genuinely don't remember how many times I've used this weapon inside of tier three. And of course, the mimic has to be inside of the building. Oh, Goofy mimics. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Just the hands. I love the mimics. Mimic. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. Brain rot is going to be destroying you. That is actually pretty damn good. Uh-oh. 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 And, of course, we went down. That's on me. That's on me. I'm doing some stupid decisions, but watch this. <laughs> that was part of my plan. And nothing too good. We're down to self -res. So, you know what? My stupid decisions are probably going to be kicking my butt now. But what we can do is go purchase a self -res. So I'm going to go quickly do that just in case. Because we don't need to buy any perks or anything. That destroyed the mimic. Be careful. Don't get smacked around the place. Ooh, that is an interesting location. So already two downs. Trust me. I don't think it's the gun. But then I get it. As of right now, this feels like a, a boss melter. We are kind of shredding through them all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at me go. Oh, you know, that ammo, it's kind of incredible. The amount of ammo you can have. Oof. Oh, hello, Mimic. You followed me. Let's destroy you again. But this time around, not be stupid. Oh my god, it is destroying the Mimic with the Brain Rod. I genuinely think Brain Rod is like one of the best things to... I always say this, but like, with the amount of like difficult bosses you could take down here it helps so much having brain rot what do we get Ooh, purple eater too those are not easy to stumble upon i'll take that you know what just because we've completed two bounties we might as well go for an easy one Oof, that could have ended bad so let's go do a cargo mission we're still on the hunt for one more schematic i swear i've been playing so much in tier three recently and i still have not yet unlocked my last one which requires me to basically get the... You know what? I kind of don't want to complete my mission. Because I fear that I might be stumbling upon some players. Uh, they want me to join their squad. I don't know. I don't think I want to. <laughs> players that always run up to the location that I'm trying to complete missions at. You know what? Let's abandon that one. I don't care. Uh, they always try to steal it from me. And specifically, since there was four of them, there's no way that in hell that I'm going to do that. Players that do that are extremely annoying. And if you're a player that does that, all I'm going to say is shame on you. Genuine shame on you. Anyway, back to it. I guess we can't complete that contract. But we do have a mangler. So let's see how good it is on a mangler. Headshot wise. I mean, it does, does melt it. It's the help of the ammo. Or at least 
the damage on it as well. If you're wondering why I didn't end up joining those players, it is because I don't want to like run around with more players. The whole point is I'm trying to see the weapon solo mainly. Nothing against those people, but I'm kind of going to assume that they were not the greatest of players. If they all gang up around that one location, probably because I took that from them. I didn't even know there was other people going for that contract. Honestly, I'm just trying to grind it out and chillax. If that has actually happened to you, comment down below. I would love to see if I'm the only one that experiences these kind of uh, players and scenarios. Disciple again. I mean, sure, why not? Might as well see it how we do without the addition of the mega abomination. First, I'm gonna have to deal with all these zombies. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Relax. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the frick? See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, there's just this sudden moment inside the game where somehow there's more zombies that spawn in than you'd see at all inside of this location. And I guess that was the situation where too many, too many at once. I'm gonna pick up some self revives. Uh, how many did I get? I don't even know. But I got a good few. But here we are with the Disciple. Hello, Disciple, sir. Let's try to see how good this thing does against you. Hopefully, it's not a bad experience. Hopefully, you're not one that decides to fly all around the place. Because they love doing that sometimes. You're doing your special attack. Can't even see what I'm shooting. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not leeching off of me. I mean, I guess you are. Okay, let's throw down a monkey bomb. Hopefully, not go down. Uh-oh. Oh my god, we've went down so many times in this video. What is happening? Okay, so that's, I guess, one thing to take away from me using this weapon. You could be going down a lot. I know I'm going down to stupid, like, things, but I don't go down usually. Oh, but, like, that's what I mean. But where, where did it go? Like, why are you in there all of a sudden? I was using the Striker 9 not too long ago, and I was barely going down with that weapon. And it wasn't as good as this thing. Oh my god, he's recruiting a whole gang. It's one of those disciples that just, he'll come around, beat you up for a second, let's throw down a sentry, and then disappear. Even a bunch of players can't take this disciple down. Oh my god, where are you off to? Die, die, just die already, just die already, just stop. Oh my god, it was literally on the verge of death. So yeah, some disciples, easy to take down, then others are just a pain in the ass. There we go. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, okay. Thank you, gamers. I appreciate it. Damage-wise, I would say this weapon is kind of in the middle. Reload-wise, it does take a quite large amount of time. But you don't have to really do it all that often. Like, we took that mangler down pretty easily there. Because the reason you don't have to do it too often is mainly because you do have quite a large amount of ammo with the magazine that I'm using. And I know I could have probably put on something else to make it reload a bit faster, but that's not too bad. Would I say it's a really good weapon? No, it's definitely a bit in the middle. It is really good at taking down the bosses though. That mimic situation, we're not gonna talk about the two of them. Basically, mimics are probably the worst ones to take down because they love flying around the place. They just go from place to place. And you're like, what, what, what? Make up your mind. Ooh, but we're gonna get to check it out on a Mega Abomination. I think this is gonna go pretty interesting. Mega Abominations can be annoying, and this one seems to be in a very open area. I prefer fighting them in places that I can hide away from their laser. Now, I don't know if it's because of my speed or anything, but I'm noticing some stuff with Tier 3 at times. Like, for example, there. Like, what? There are scenarios where Tier 3 can be pretty chill. And then there are scenarios like this match, where I've gone down more than I'm proud of to say. I've gone down a ridiculous amount of times, because I cannot keep up with these zombies. So I wonder if tier 3 is based off of what weapon you go inside of it. I know that's a bit of a far fetch, but games love to do that. Call of Duty wouldn't be the first time doing stuff like that, where it's like, we're gonna base your difficulty. Ooh, we are destroying the freaking mega oh my god on what weapon you're using i know that probably wouldn't really apply especially since you're in an open lobby kind of like a scenario where there's always people around the place playing but i think it's something interesting that i'm noticing more and more the more i run around inside of tier 3 also my luck with schematics overall is awful i've like not found many i do like that i have this building around here that i can just run around I'm pretty slow with the gun. Maybe that's why I keep going down. Because I cannot outrun these zombies. Oh, no. We're going to go down again, aren't we? Somehow we're doing more damage on this Mega Abomination than I think we were doing on the one that we fought first. I don't know if that's just me. But I think it might be because it's constantly having its mouth open. Uh-oh. 
Nah, this is not gonna end well. Oof. Oh my god. Did it, did it not just do that attack? Oh my god, there's so many zombies, I can't keep up. You know, the RPK, it is a beast, but god does it suck right now. I've gone down continuously with this thing. Oh my god, are you actually serious? I went down to that mega abomination that was here. It just sp Oh my god. How many times have I gone down? I don't even know. Why am I going down so many times this game? But I'll keep fighting through, you know? I might have gone down way too many times already. Embarrassing it enough as it is. It's the gone down counter time. Wonder how many I'm on. Okay, we're- Oh no, it's doing that attack now. Piss off. Oh my god, not again. Stop! Seriously, just stop, please. <laughs> okay, we're luring this mega in here. I will definitely have a tiny bit of a better experience inside of the buildings being protected, but also maybe not because there is constantly zombies spawning in. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Why? Why is it running so fast? Come back here. No, no. <laughs> it literally skedaddled. Hey. Oh. Wait, what? So, yeah, it did have lower health. Hmm. I guess it was bugged out, saying that it didn't have that, like, it had way more health. Okay, still no schematics. The hunt for that one schematic continues. It's kind of sad, but you know what? Whatever. Right now, I have had some pretty bad experiences in this lobby with this weapon overall this run is not that good i guess we do have a purple ether tool which i do appreciate but man we're gonna complete this one more contract hopefully before we get robbed from the players and i guess that's going to be it do i recommend for you to test this weapon out yeah test it out I don't know if you should use it. If you do have any weapon recommendations, comment them down, down below and I will for sure be checking them out. I'm definitely not going to be completing any more bounties. Hopefully this one is successful. If you did enjoy this video, me going down, I think it was like, what, six, seven times? That's crazy. Drop a like, I guess. It'll make me feel better because right now, mm -mm, not feeling too good. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.